I hope y'all enjoyed my previous video. In today's video, we're at the Memorial Park Cemetery in Memphis, Tennessee. I am Danny, and welcome to my channel, Danivator, where my experiences become your adventure. Remember to please subscribe and please hit that bell so you'll be notified when I release my next adventure. Well, let's go explore the Memorial Park Cemetery. Memorial Park Cemetery is located along Poplar Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. This is its funeral home. The Memorial Park Cemetery was founded in 1924 by Elliot Clovis Hines who once owned his own life insurance company. There are many elaborate sculptures and beautifully landscaped gardens spread throughout, which offers a peaceful and scenic park-like experience. The Memorial Park Cemetery is well known for its Crystal Shrine Grotto, which we will visit shortly. The Memorial Park Cemetery is also known for the final resting places of a few of Memphis's famous people. With the entrance fountain behind me, right here is located the gravesite of Red West. Robert Jean Red West was an American actor, songwriter, and once a close friend and bodyguard of Elvis Presley. He co-wrote several songs for Presley and appeared in many films and TV shows. He played Red, the auto parts store owner in the movie Roadhouse, which starred Patrick Swayze. He also was seen in some of these 80s TV shows like Magnum P.I., The A-Team, and Knight Rider, just to name a few. In the mausoleum, located behind the funeral home, is the final resting place of Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips was well known for producing records for Elvis Presley, Roy Orbison, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Johnny Cash in his Memphis Sun Studios. In the 1950s, Phillips played a part in the development of rock and roll. This elevated area is located on top of the mausoleum. Here's a bird saying good morning to us. So coming down this road from the main entrance, our next grave we come to is Isaac Hayes. Just look at these vivid images of his life and career. Isaac Hayes was born northeast of Memphis in the city of Covington, Tennessee. There is this memorial located in the old part of town. He co-wrote the song Soul Man with David Porter. This song was sung by Jake, who was played by John Belushi, and Elwood, who was played by Dan Aykroyd in the movie The Blues Brothers. He acted in a few motion pictures and even provided the voiceover for the part of Chef in the TV series South Park. There's a new kid in school and he's a total weirdo freak. Oh, children, children. You should not like somebody just because they're different. Here, let me sing you a little song. We're all special in our own way. Everybody's different, but that's okay. He was even an Academy Award winner for the theme song to the movie Shaft, in which he wrote and performed. That private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks. Damn right. 
and located beside Isaac Hayes' grave is Jimmy Lee Lindsay Jr. He was a Memphis punk rocker. As his gravestone shows, he was also known as Jay Riotar. He was well known for his energetic performances. He was buried along with his trademark white Gibson Flying V guitar. And located behind Isaac Hayes in Jimmy Lee's grave is the world famous Crystal Shrine Grotto. The Crystal Shrine Grotto area was created by Mexican artist Dionisio Rodriguez. The construction began in 1935. This creative, unworldly place of meditation was completed in 1955, just after the death of Rodriguez. Let's begin our adventure by crossing the old rustic foot bridge. Over to the left is the Pool of Hebron. Looks like we got one duck swimming today. This scenic pond was inspired by the water reservoir created by King Solomon in Judea. The founder, E. Clovis Hines, wanted to include the representation of the first burial place or tomb that was mentioned in Genesis in the Bible. This locked tomb is the Cave of Machpelah. This was Abraham and Sarah's resting place. This is Abraham's oak. It is 15 foot tall and 9 feet in diameter. It makes a great photo stop. Abraham's oak represents an old stump which stood near the cave of Machpelah. It was named for Abraham, who was the founder of the Hebrew nation. To the right of the grotto area is this unusual bench. Rodriguez sculptured all his structures with concrete. This bench looks thousands of years old. By the bench area is this little walking path. And there appears to be another cave entrance we can't enter. Before we explore the inside of the Crystal Shrine Grotto, let's go up these stairs and see what's above. Looks like this is a back entryway to the grotto. Let's explore these stairs by the steeple of the grotto. I just realized the actual stairs are to the right. And again, this is what I call the grotto steeple. This is looking down where that little path was. I believe this time I'll go down the proper stairs. I want to see if I can get a bird's eye view of the pool of Hebron. Let's look at this view from this area that has a sculptured chair and a tree in the shape of a cross. And this is a better view, looking down from the cave of Machpelah. And now it's time for the main event exploring the Crystal Shrine Grotto. The most beautiful head in history. And it looks like people left some items to show their love and respect for this sacred place. The painting to the left is of the Good Samaritan. And let's see what that display over there is. It's the nativity scene. That looks like the star over the manger. To the right of the nativity is this detailed display called Jesus in the temple. And to believe that this place exists in the middle of a cemetery. This is the Sermon on the Mount and the raising of Jairus' daughter. The crystals you see on the walls and the ceiling were collected from the Ozark Mountains in Arkansas. This display is known as the Transfiguration. 
and there's Zacchaeus up a tree. And who hasn't heard of the Last Supper? There's Christ in Gethsemane. This place reminds me of the Florida caverns. This beautiful scene is the crucifixion. The last display in the Crystal Shrine Grotto is the Resurrection. If you are ever in Memphis, this is one of the safest, most amazing roadside attractions in this area. I highly recommend this adventure to everyone. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video today here at the Memorial Park Cemetery and the Crystal Shrine Grotto. And also, I hope y'all enjoyed my series of videos around the Memphis area. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And always remember, your adventure awaits with the Danavator. I will see y'all the next time.